Then you had something called survivor's remorse after that. Uh, all of these terms I would have loved to never have heard of. But it turns out that it was a good thing that we did because my brother was able to get a lot of publicity out for uh, Marine Corps rights and things that were going on. And a movie came out called War Torn that was on HBO and he was one of the main subjects of the movie. Now they flew us out to the Pentagon and we got to watch it with the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I got to sit next to Admiral Mullen, which was insane and scary at the same time, uh, but really awesome that they were actually caring about this movie that had come out, that HBO had put out. James Gandolfini is the, was one of the producers on it and just passed away a couple weeks ago. And I just finished The Sopranos, so I sold that box set pretty quickly. But uh, I did well on that, which is inappropriate to say. But <laughs> what I will say is that it was a really good thing that he did for my brother, and it was awesome to see that happen. Well, my brother ended up committing a gun crime. Uh, he robbed a guy at gunpoint, uh, thinking he was in Iraq. And it sounds, when you hear what happened, it sounds like there was a huge miscommunication that went on. It sounds like my brother was speaking at him in Ira uh, Iranian, Iraqi, and the gentleman was Iranian, and there was a miscommunication, and the gentleman threw money at my brother, and he had a gun on him. But this uh, particular year, uh, the young lady who was the district attorney decided to be hard on gun crime, and threw the book at my brother, even though he'd only been back from Iraq for three weeks. And so rather than get him some help, some psychology uh, help that I think it would have really been good for him, they decided to throw the book at him and try to give him 16 years in jail after he just got back from Iraq. Uh, he Luckily, he took a plea deal and he's getting out in March, but it's been six years since he's been free, and it's a really tough thing. Anybody that knows my brother knows it just doesn't make any sense. And the whole thing is really confusing and it's been really hard because as, uh, my father's a, a sniper on the SWAT team and so we've always had guns around, it's never been a big deal, but it's a big deal when you have one on you when something like this happens, obviously. So the whole ordeal was a big mess and you can hear all about it, I blog about it kind of regularly and talk about our experience with it and I do lots of benefits for uh, military and this and that, but this song I wrote at 6 o'clock in the morning that he was turning himself in to start the whole prison sentence. And uh, I just found myself crying on the freeway. And, and it was tough because that night he had come in uh, to my room. He was staying with me. And he was listening to a, co a couple songs. And he was bawling his eyes out. And if you knew my brother, that's not him. He doesn't cry. It's just not what he does. And he... He, he asked me to hold him. And he said, Josh, just tell me I'm going to wake up tomorrow and it's all going to be a dream. I told him the only thing that I knew that I could tell him, and it was that, Nathan, I don't, I don't know what's going to go on, buddy. I don't know how this works. I've never been on this side of it before. But I know this. We'll take it a day at a time, and we'll get there. And now, seven years later, it's finally ending, and he just finished his associate's degree, and things are going well for him. And uh, we're really excited to have him out. Um, but this song I wrote the next morning is called Never Gonna Let You Go, and it's on my album Hope, and it goes like this. Let you go. 
never gonna let you go. Never gonna let you go. No, never gonna let you go. Never gonna let you go. Never gonna let you go. And I would fight a hundred thousand men. And I'd stop every one of them. No one could hold me down If there are no hands that could hold me back And I could be anything you want And I could be anything you need There is no one There is no one no one, and there is no one. I'm never gonna let you go. I'm never gonna let you go. I'm never gonna let you go, 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 go. I'm never gonna let you go. I'm never gonna let you go. I'm never gonna let you go. Thank you.